Today is January 23rd, 2017. My name is Casey Thren, owner of Complete Deer Management. Getting prepared to go back down to Battle Creek and continue with a timber stand improvement, felling and hinge cutting for a client. And getting my gear organized and prepared, I took my chainsaws to Red's Repair, located just south of Farwell, Michigan. Tom Gibbs was nice enough to let me video a segment on how to keep your chainsaws in good working condition. Lots of sawdust, oil, and tree sap can harm your saw and endanger you, the operator. I had him sharpen some chains for me and clean one of my saws up I neglected. Here, Tom takes us through what he performs on client saws to keep them in good working condition. to clean them up once in a while. I don't try to blow straight into the air filter. No sense in packing that air filter full of debris. So would you, every time you get done running that, would you clean it or I just do. when it looks bad? I, when, I do on my saws at home. If uh, you know if we cut for two days straight, I'll bring them in when we're done. And I use a little toothbrush just to brush off the air filter. Don't use gas or anything like that. A lot of people like to, but it's hard on the filter elements. Get that cover back on, chain sharp. I checked the bar out. I use this little tool here. It's a bar groove cleaner. Just run it down through the bar. Be careful you don't cut your fingers. The edge of the bar is pretty sharp. This bar shows some wear, but it's not worn out. Not worn out yet. And we'll put that back on. And then there's a wrong way and a right way to put that chain on. You right? can put it on backwards. Yep. I've seen it happen. <laughs> they don't cut that good that way. But I was at the top of the, the top of the chain, cutter edge away from you. Top of the chain, the cutter edge away from you. Always, again, don't grab the chain with your hands, but make sure it spins. Use a shop cloth or a leather glove. Check your chain adjustment there. Everything seems good. Don't need a thousand pounds of torque on these here. Tighten them down and be good to go. Good to go. What if you didn't have an air compressor or what do you recommend? You can stop without one, you know, to get all that debris out of there there's no doubt a lot of people use breaking parts cleaner but you got to watch some of these chemicals are pretty hard on the plastic a lot of the saws nowadays are plastic parts so a lot of those chemicals will they eat into it you know and uh, pretty aggressive uh, but I'd prefer air over anything you could use like a backpack blower or leaf blower or something could try, you try could it try. yeah yeah try it out uh, even a solvent you know like a you could use, uh, you know, a detergent, I guess, water. You know? Water, yeah. water and soap and water. Yeah, rub it down that way with a brush or paintbrush. It would be good. Yeah. All right. That's all there is to it. Okay. Nothing major. <laughs> Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks, Casey. Thank you. If you don't have the tools or time to properly care for your saws, Take it into a professional like Tom to get it done. Well worth the money. I'll include Red's Repair contact information below. They sell and repair most farm and lawn equipment, snowblowers,
handheld equipment, and sales. Thanks for watching. Be safe. See you out in the field. God bless. This video was brought to you by Costa Bella, QDMA Branch, Yanmar Tractor, Standish Milling, and Red's Repair.